Hello, my dear children. Now today we will uh, discuss with the the new topic of the same chapter, energy. Now this energy is needed to all of us to perform some work. In order to do a work, energy is needed. So therefore, we can say that energy is the capacity or the ability to do work. This energy is needed by all the living things like uh, human beings, animals, they need energy to do work. Any kind of work or any kind of activities, they need energy. And we need, we get this energy from the food which we eat. Even the food which is given by the plants, the plant also need energy. Example, now the plant gets energy from the sunlight, that is the solar energy. And this, with the help of the solar energy, the plants prepare their food. And the food which has been prepared by the plants are used by all the living organisms, including human beings as well as animals. So therefore, energy is a, plays a very important role in our life. Now, plants also need energy. They get energy from the sun, which we call solar energy. And we get energy from the food we, uh, which we eat. The food which we eat has got chemical energy stored on it. And now this chemical energy in the food will be converted into mechanical energy. So when we talk about this energy, now that when we come to the definition of energy, energy is the capacity to or the uh, ability to do a work. And energy can neither be created nor destroyed. There is a law of conservation of energy which says that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. But it can be transformed from one form to another form. Like for example, the uh, implant, when we, uh, when we consider implant, the chemical energy, the plant uh, store chemical energy on it. And this chemical energy, how do they get stored is that from the solar energy. Now the solar energy will be converted into chemical energy. And this chemical energy which are stored in the plant are utilized by living organisms, by human beings and animals. And this chemical energy will be converted into mechanical energy. Likewise, there are various forms of energy, light energy, sound energy, heat energy, mechanical energy, chemical energy, magnetic energy, geothermal energy, various forms of energy are there. And always there is a transformation of energy takes place. There is always the transformation of energy. Like in a, when we consider a vehicle, the vehicle, they do work, they do some mechanical work only in the presence of fuel. Now the fuel has got chemical energy stored on it. Now when the chemical energy which are stored in the fuel gets filled in the vehicle, the chemical energy will convert it into mechanical energy. Likewise, electrical energy are there. Electrical energy will be converted into light energy and the heat energy with the help of electricity the bulb glows okay and electrical in the bulb what will happen the electrical energy will be converted into light and heat energy even in a microphone electrical energy will be converted into sound energy and so on so therefore when we talk about energy okay and is the capacity to do our work and always the energy uh, can neither be created nor destroyed and always the energy can be transferred from one form to another form so this is about the energy so various forms of energy are here, but the important forms of energy we will discuss it. That is one is the mechanical energy, other one is the chemical energy, uh, electrical energy. These are the various forms of energy. Now first of all, let us come to the mechanical energy. Mechanical energy. Now this mechanical energy are the energy which are possessed by the body when they are in a state of rest or in motion. When the body possesses energy when they are in state or in motion, now that form of energy we call it as a magnetical energy. So mechanical energy are two forms. One is the kinetic energy and other one is the potential energy. In the short form I can write it KE and PE. That is kinetic energy and potential energy. Now this kinetic energy is the energy possessed by the body when they are in a state of motion. Similarly, 
the energy possessed by the body when they are in the state of rest or in the change in the shape and size. Okay, that we call it as a potential energy. So the kinetic energy is given by the relation half into mass into velocity square. That means kinetic energy is given by the formula half mv square. M stands for mass, V stands for velocity. Then potential energy is given by formula NZH, that is mass into acceleration due to gravity and height. So, when we talk about uh, kinetic energy, this kinetic energy is directly proportional. Direct proportional means they are directly related with the mass and the velocity. That means when the mass of the body is more, kinetic energy will also be more. When the mass of the body is less, kinetic energy will also be less. Again, when the, the velocity of the body is more, kinetic energy will also be more. When the velocity or the speed of the body is less, kinetic energy will also be less. So since kinetic energy is directly proportional to the mass and the velocity. So I'll give you one example. Suppose you take a two body having a same mass. The mass are same but moving with a different velocity. One is moving with a lesser velocity, other one is more velocity. That means a body moving with a with a greater velocity will have got a more kinetic energy. Since the mass are same, the two bodies are having the same mass, but the velocities are different. Okay, so when a body having a same mass but moving with a greater velocity, that body is said to be have more kinetic energy. Similarly, if a body have a different mass and moving with the same velocity, a body having more mass will have got more kinetic energy. So therefore, the kinetic energy depends upon the two factors. One is the mass of the body and other one is the velocity of the body. Second one is potential energy. Potential energy is given by mass into acceleration due to gravity into height. That means potential energy is directly proportional to the mass and the height of the body and as well as the acceleration due to gravity. So acceleration due to gravity means the value of acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square or approximately it is taken as 10 meter per second square. So here in potential energy, the body possessed, the body will possess potential energy when it is when the body is in the state of rest. But here when the body is in the state of motion, the body possess kinetic energy. Example a moving, uh, a moving a flying aeroplane, a moving ball, okay, a running person, a running man. Okay, a flowing water, all these are the examples of the kinetic energy. Similarly, potential energy. The energy which are stored in the dam. Okay, the Munda watch. These are the examples of potential energy. That means they are they are in the state of rest, either they are in the state of rest or they have changed their their, their position or their shape and size. So these are about the potential energy. And potential energy is directly proportional to the mass. More the mass of the body more will the potential energy. Lesser the mass of the body, lesser will the potential energy. Likewise, it also depends upon the height. Greater the height of the, of the body raised, higher the body has been raised, greater will be the potential energy. Lesser the height of the body, lesser will be the potential energy. So this way, there are two forms of mechanical energy. One is the kinetic energy and other one is the potential energy. Thank you.